Welcome back to Road to Backbreaker. We are halfway through the season. We're in week 16. This is Division 1. So, and we got 11,000 credits. I'm going to show you a little team information. And then we're going to go shopping. Uh, week 16, you would think that that's the end of the season. But let me show you the schedule. In Division 1, we played 31 games. So we about halfway. We got Vegas coming up. The game that I'm concerned about, we got a uh, week 18. I'm gonna show you that their running back was the first to reach 2,000. So I'm I'm pretty sure that's just a hardcore running team, and he's good. We got week 19, but week 20 is militia. They're the best team on here, and I don't know how I'm gonna match up against them. Let me see if I can move this. That's my concern. Liberty, they they're hot, kind of hot right now, but. They're a passing team, and my pass defense is OP, so I, I, we can match up with them. I'm concerned about the Tridents. Even though they're a passing team, they got, like, so much speed on that offense. That's ridiculous. And we got the Maulers in the last game of the season. Got the Militia at 9-6. and six. We got the Hogs. We already we beat this team. We beat this team. They're 9-5-1. and one. The Rollers are 9-6. And they're a rushing team with a balanced, balanced defense. But I am going to go do some scouting. I'm looking for some players. We've been loading up our defense for that to make sure we finish out this season strong. I did some pre-scouting some weeks ago. And I was looking for quarterbacks because at that time, Hedges was playing so bad. I was, I was looking for anybody to replace him, just somebody who was accurate. First, of course, I looked for somebody who was mobile. I was looking for a quarterback who had high agility, but I didn't really find that. The player who had the highest agility was this guy, but he was so slow. I didn't want to throw from the pocket because of my offensive line. So I moved down a bit. Let me see what this guy is. Uh, I was looking at somebody. Gunnar Dago, there he is, that 100. 100 focus after comparing him to the, all of all the other players this was the the guy i was set on so i was like yeah we gonna go here then all of a sudden hedges start playing good so now i still got him on the short list we got him highlighted uh, another position i was looking at was wide receiver because i'm not sitting around in the pocket trying to throw deep all the time like i was in division one and two so the guy i was checking out was devin harton he got the 100 agility. I'm trying to get guys the ball fast. He has 100 agility, 93 speed, 89 focus. We should get it done with that. I was kind of looking for somebody who can play wide receiver and a little bit of running back. I came up with Harden. There's another guy here who can rival that. You look at Higgs. That's a, a, another good player. Another good option for the team. I am looking at no bronze players. Matthias, that was a good option. I was looking at him. The higher the agility, the better. Plus, he had the 95 speed to go along with it. The 86 focus is, I guess, for the speed is good enough. But there was another guy. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep scrolling. I probably would have this silver, this silver star receiver, Porter Mead. I probably would have went here if he was a little cheaper. But I'm not, nah, not for 12. I'm not. Here he is, right here, Eduardo Russell, 100 agility. 95 speed my eyes is locked on him so i got a few positions that i'm looking for not sure where i'm gonna go with it it's kind of difficult when you only you know you only get a certain amount of money believe it or not running back was on my list because i'm looking for a guy who can play two positions a running back slot receiver when i start audibling and uh, moving players around i can get a running back as a slot receiver you see what i do with hendrix Hendricks, and he's just a pure H-back. Uh, I line him up everywhere, but I was looking for a running back I, I can do that with. Same type of thing, looking for the agility. But I find this guy, and this is the most expensive free agent I ever seen. 17, that's the highest. I, I thought I thought I signed some expensive plug. This is the highest I've ever seen so far. 17,000 credits. And we, we about probably two games away from being able to make a move on him. 100 agility 95 focus 94 speed 78 strength not good not that great but i got hendrix i got anderson they could take care of the running game i'm looking for like a uh, uh alvin kamara not somebody gonna run the ball all the time 
I want to use him primarily as a receiver. Probably we could set up some screens out the backfield. I'm looking for somebody like that. Somebody I'm looking for somebody I can move around, not necessarily be a, a primary running back. We don't really need that. We got hedges to run from the um from the pocket. We got Anderson we could feed the ball to. We got hedges. We don't really need a primary running back. He could be a basically I'm I'm looking for a third down back. He got uh Davenport. 88 93 so let me check again he have a 78 strength so i'm gonna keep him keep that in mind let's scroll down uh so moving on the fullback when it comes to this position i was trying to see if i could find another uh, hendrix see if they had another one of those guys uh, that can match up with speed and strength this guy was like the the second closest there's another one in here and i believe it's samuel sharp the 82 speed that's the 85 strength was the closest i can get to hendrix i'm gonna look down let's scan actually dion lynn 82 speed 87 that's the closest plus 94 focus that's the closest guy i could get to hendrix so i put that on my short list just to keep that in mind so moving on the tight end uh cooper I, i'm not gonna lie i wasn't happy with cooper in the beginning because he couldn't break tackles so um you got this guy lonnie peace and 80 agility that's pretty good for tight end out of road to backbreaker you got uh not looking for no receiving i'm looking for tight end that can break some damn tackles or something offensive line i pretty much kind of settled into what i have i know we're real real weak on the inside but i did put a couple of players on my short list i'm gonna take a i'm gonna take a quick look at cornerback even though i'm not i'm not my uh dbs they're good but i always take a peek anyway um got I was looking at these guys with this high agility because when I got petted, I was hoping he could be the primary punt returner, but he, he terrible at returning kicks. Still looking for that guy that's real dangerous at return, man. If if I was to get a corner or a safety, it would be for that reason, but I'm not really focused on that. I'm, I'm mostly looking at that D and at defensive tackle, but I still do peak like this Jordan Vega. 95 speed 97 agility that's a safety man i'm looking for a return man i would take him and i know kevin young is the second leading tackler but i will replace young yep 16,000 credits i will replace young let this guy return return punts i shouldn't have even looked up in him for real because i was supposed to go defensive tackle Defensive tackle and nose tackle where that's where my mind was. But now looking through here, you got some serious ballers. As if we don't catch enough interception. Yeah, I think I better get out of here. Let me go do what I supposed to do. Okay, right here. Defensive tackle or nose. I want to replace my boy, not Caden Lou, the other one. Elliot. Elliot did get two sacks in the last game, but I'm looking for a, a run stuffer somebody who's hella strong we got oh that's not bad 93 for the low low that's not even 10,000 man we might be able to do something let me go back let's start this again we got Ulysses Higgins short list that's less than 10 93 strength that's a big upgrade for me I just want to stop these dudes from running the ball and force them to throw it that's that's my game plan we got you for 11 because he a bit faster i don't know if i need that much speed right there 95 strength oh for nine shit we about to come up on them silvers 90 strength yeah i don't need that much oh 100 think i changed my mind bro how you turn your back when you see 100 strength you know how strong this dude is this should solve all our problems Andrew Master Masterson. Okay. But dang, you get 92 for 8. Almost 9,000 credits. I got some decisions to make. 
Damn, they ain't got Lil Way. Let me see. 85. I'm not doing no 85s. We got 9. Nah. 11. We got 89 for 86. Shit, if they had a bronze for like 80, 85 strength for about shit, 6,000, I would have went with that. Zachary L. Eli. Got this boy here. The De Maximus DeBerry, 97 strength. But after I seen that hundred, they they close around the same price. That's what I'm I'm looking for the strength. I need somebody who could push, just push. That's all. Ninety eight, eighty eight. We got. Oh shoot! Look at this, Julio Roberts, Julio Roberts, Julio Jones, Julio Roberts, ninety five strength for nine three. Seventy one focus. His awareness, that, that's his awareness, hella low. He might not even know the ball will snap. Shit. I'm trying to be cheap. Yeah, now this player, Jordan Caballero, man. See, I'm not doing 80 for seven. I do it for five. They need some negotiations. Not getting no seven up out me. Thor and Landers, that's a good one. Nine. 81, 81. Seriously, if I had, if I had enough money, like maybe twenty thousand credits, I would be looking at two silvers. But since I'm about to walk away with one player anyway, I'm probably gonna end up with that hundred strength. Compare him to this guy, and the other ones I shortlisted. Look at this though, a hundred awareness. Now I'm being silly and I'm leaning on the strength, but this guy is probably a better pick because he's so aware he's going to be able to read the plays. Plus, he got the 93. Moving to nose tackle. Now, the nose tackle lines are right over the center. And you got three formations in back break of the 4-6 uh, goal line and a 3-4 that the nose tackle comes into play. Uh, but the, since the game is not patched, the 4-6 is not on that. So I'm dealing with the 34 and goal line defense. I definitely will want pure strength for this. So if I get a nose tackle and a defensive tackle, I know nobody's running on us. Even though Porter Rowe, he kind of, he on the weak side. He a pass rusher. See, that's what I'm saying. If I had about 20,000 credits, I would have got two silver players. I would have had a nose tackle and a defensive tackle and called it a day. Either way we go, it's gonna be a huge upgrade. Look at this, 99, short list is full. Damn, I must have that bit stuff. So kick, re now on kick return, I had, Artavis Brown was on a hot seat early on, he was. And then, but it's like, he's the most consistent return man we have. He, he will break some tackles. You see the last couple of weeks, he had a big kick return. Um, not so much on punt return. We ain't getting no no action on punt return right now. So I'm going to continue trying to get away with what we got on that so I could save some money. So at the end of this thing, I was able to cut my short list down to 26 players. These are my 26 most wanted players. I hope nobody else pop up on this. Um but I want to see this. I want to see this. I want to see what a hundred strength defensive tackle look like. That's what's messing me up. Cause I could save my money and probably put together, save up to about 18, 19 and get a defensive tackle and a nose tackle. But the fact that I want to see how this looks on the field so bad, I'm probably going to get him right before our week 17 game. And uh, then we got to save up to the next time we get paid.